This segment is sponsored by Michigan Auto Law. Like it or not, the days are getting shorter and we'll continue to do so until late December. We change our clocks in November and that means it's going to get dark outside even earlier. A reduction in daylight hours adds to the dangers that pedestrians already face. And here to talk about that is Michigan Auto Law attorney Brandon Hewitt. Hi, Brandon. Hi, Catherine. Thanks again. Oh, glad to see you. What are the trends when it comes to pedestrian accidents? Good news and bad news over the last couple of years. So the good news is that over the last uh, couple of years here, we've seen a decrease in the total number of pedestrian incidents, down 21%. That's great news from 2019 to 2021. The bad news, of course, uh, unfortunately, is that uh, fewer incidents, but more severe. So we've actually seen an increase in serious uh, injuries and fatalities. Those are up 23% in that same time period. So fewer incidents, but more serious, unfortunately. So when there is a, a pedestrian car accident, let's talk about the expenses surrounding that medical and otherwise. Yes, yeah, so you're going to have two possible claims, assuming that you're not at fault. The first one doesn't matter if you were at fault or not as a pedestrian. You're going to be entitled to Michigan No Fault Personal Injury Protection Benefits. Now, normally those go through your own car insurance. Uh, if you don't have your own car insurance, they'll go through a relative who you live with. If that doesn't apply to you as well, you'll go through what's called the Michigan Assigned Claims Plan. And that's a pool of insurance companies that basically will pick an insurance company for you to cover your medical benefits. What changed in the law the last couple of years is that under no circumstance do your benefits go through the car that hit you. Mm. The only claim that you have for that, if uh, you weren't at fault, if the vehicle was at fault, would be a pain and suffering claim and that goes through the cards insurance but otherwise your medical benefits and your wage loss and all that stuff goes through the either your own insurance somebody you live with or the assigned claims plan mm. you want folks to know about crosswalks they're you know supposedly the safe place to cross right yeah it's it's an absolute must yeah you know, we always want to cheat um you know it looks too far away to get to the intersection we just want to kind of cross the road but it's the number one cause of pedestrian accidents uh, nearly 35% of all pedestrian accidents uh, occur because somebody was not crossing at the crosswalk. So it's the safest thing to do, even if it means you have to walk a little bit further down the road. It's an absolute must because that's where things are controlled by a signal. How about some advice for drivers on pedestrian safety? Same as always, but just keep your, keep your eyes out and don't drive distracted. Right now is a very dangerous time to be a pedestrian. The days are getting shorter. Uh, you know, we're going to see shorter and shorter days, the sun going down earlier and earlier until we get to that winter solstice in December. But you can already see that the sun's going down about 7, 30, 8 o'clock now, and it's getting darker earlier. You know, we see our prize happening in Grand Rapids, lots of people on the sidewalks, mm -hmm. lots of pedestrians. So it's just a, a more dangerous time in the fall to be out there walking around. How about for pedestrians, advice for them? Yeah, so normally... Pedestrians have the right of way at a crosswalk, whether it's marked or not, that's the law. But you still need to be on guard because you can't count on a vehicle stopping. So obviously look both ways, like mom and dad always taught us, um, you know, don't walk distracted. Don't uh, walk while looking at your phone, walking at the crosswalks, taking your time uh, to make sure that all the traffic is clear and, uh, you know, wear brighter clothing in the fall. I know the, the browns and the reds are kind of popular right now, but try to, if you're out walking, try to wear something a little bit brighter so that cars can see you. And again, try to avoid walking at night, uh, you know, anytime past eight o'clock, 7.30 nowadays. Mm, all right, all good advice. For more information or to contact an attorney, call 833-411-MICH. That's 833-411-MICH or visit michiganautolaw.com. Brandon, thank you. Thank you.